Hello, in this video, I am gonna show you responsive containers. So up till now, you've just been using this regular container. And what we can do is we can get rid of, you know, this for example, and we can put, you know, div. You don't have to use all of these, but I just wanna, you know, just demonstrate what they all do. And if you put a class of container dash SM, so small container, and then I'm just gonna say, 100% wide until small break point. And we're going to have a total of five of these. And we'll have change this one to MD for medium, then LG for large. Then this will be XL for extra large, XXL for extra, extra large. Okay, so now if we refresh, we get these. They may look identical, but watch what happens if I start resizing. We're at the extra, extra large, you know, point. But as soon as we go past the extra, extra, extra large, and we're into the large, extra large now, this one is no longer using the 100% width sort of, you know, style. So, but, but what this basically, I mean, it begins using the 100% width style below it. So what this is now, it is basically what you would have with extra, extra small. And this one is only valid in X extra large and extra large. And as soon as I break out of that, this is only valid, valid in extra, extra large, extra large and large. So this will soon go to basically the extra small 100% width. Again, you know, there will be, you know, a small gutter here, which is some padding. I've got a separate video covering that, but it is 100% width now. This is, you know, the regular medium for extra, extra large, extra large, large, and medium. As soon as it hits the small break point, it will be essentially like extra small. And this is, you know, using this normal small sort of styling for x extra, extra large extra large, large, and medium, and small, but as soon as we go to extra small, it goes down. So that is it. That is how you use responsive containers. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message, and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.